found word. It's a collaboration. It's a hoppy lager with pink guava, 6.0 alcohol. It's still water, artisanal, and against the grain, smoke house and, and brewery. And brewery. Welcome back to the Tapping Out Show. This is Jeremy and Matt. We're going to do Found Word. This is actually done with Against the Grain Brewery and Smokehouse. Still water. Artisanal. 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 actually been looking forward to all night it's a collaboration beer it's it's gonna have some guava in it um, pale ales usually aren't really his thing IPAs are this is a little bit less than what I'm expecting well, this is a hoppy lager hoppy guava. lager hoppy lager with guava well me and you have two totally different styles you like the darker strong beers I like strong IPAs that easier to throw down so beer we try to find beers that we like of each other's styles and beers that meet in the middle this could be something like that depending on how it is you well know? i kind that, of that's think one the, of those things i kind of think with the hop and the guava i mean it's going to add that extra kick to it that might really give it over the edge of most lager hoppy lager combinations because this be, this is becoming kind of a thing this whole hoppy lager concept. And I really think it's because of the IPA phenomenon that has really gone global, where people love the fact that they can get something pale, like pale ales, and make it have so much flavor that it's it's palatable to a lot of other people. So to get a hoppy lager, lager is very palatable around the world. Yeah. I mean, lager beers are I mean, almost international. Almost every country has their own style of a lager beer. I mean, even Japan with the rice lagers. I mean, they're or even pilsners. It, it to me, this concept of adding hops and then on top of it guava might actually be surprisingly really good. Well, I would think I would say the the problem with the typical. American beer community is they have that typical beer pilsner style and everyone's just kind of battling over marketing and, and whatnot right. to try to you know capitalize and um, when people take that old European style that we Americans took and, and did what we did with it and when they start taking it more to like that craft beer level and starting adding like a little bit of fruit to it a little hop to it and making it that light beer but still adding flavor and making it drinkable, I think that's that has a lot of good potential. Well, you know? one way to find out. And cheers. You definitely smell the guava. Well, it's funny because you can really taste a lot of it too. I don't really taste the hops as much though. That's the kind of funny part to it. I mean, it's got a little bit of a kick to it. It's a little dry, but the really, taste. really nice, clean, drinkable beer. 6% alcohol. So it's almost like your typical American, you know, Pilsner beer when it comes to drinkability and alcohol volume. Well, but, you know, with the most American lagers, you don't really get that dry finish. And you don't really get that little bit of flavor to it, too. So it's kind of actually, I wouldn't say a punch in the face, but because it's really subtle. It's not very like demanding or drastic it's it's kind of like oh easy drinking but flavor you know yeah, what i mean like I say that i would say that it's easy drinking like a typical american beer and um some flavor in the end now personally it's not my thing um i don't like lager beers anyway it's just too light for me but the funny thing is is with a little bit of hops to it it kind of gives it a little heaviness that makes it almost, I wouldn't say pleasurable, but at the same time kind of brutal. <laughs> like, I don't know how else to explain that one, but 
it really does have a unique taste to where I can't really compare it to anything else that I actually enjoy. I it's do. It's a good I mean, beer. It's clean. It's easy to drink, and it has a lot of flavor. You know, you, you can't ask for too much more uh, for a six percent beer. Well, you can't ask much more for a lager beer. Yeah, I mean, exactly. I'm gonna say, on my count, one out of five, five being the least, or five being the best, one being the least. I'm gonna say, I'm going three point seven five. That's what I was thinking too, 3.75. So, Tapping Out Show is going 3.75 out of 5. It's a decent beer. For a lager, this is great. This is better than any American lager I can think of. It's got a nice taste to it. The guava doesn't really take center stage. I almost to say the hops do. And that's fine. It gives it a kind of a heavy feel to it. The guava kind of gives it that little aftertaste where you're kind of going, yeah, you know, that's kind of, that's kind of good. But good beer in either way. So check them out. Good collaboration for sure. Oh yeah. No, against the grain, you know what? We we haven't had many beers from them. Louisville, Kentucky, I've heard some big things come out of them. Same thing with like Cleveland, Ohio, and Michigan. So if you can get your hands on this, great. Um, I recommend it for anybody that does drink American style lagers or pilsners because Definitely. it's it's that kind of style with a kick. Besides that, uh, we're going to finish these out. If you want to email us, it's info at tappingoutshow.com. And if you want to find either me or Matt on social media, it's all one word. It's Tapping Out Show. Besides that, we're going to finish these out. You guys have a good night. Cheers. Cheers.